Hi everyone, I'm Frederick from Team Sketch to React, and I'm going to show you how you can use our latest component, which is a div component um, from version 1.6 of the Sketch to React code app. And I'm also going to show you how you can use the div component uh, to create a material UI grid system within your Sketch document instead of using our native Bootstrap implementation. So, okay, let's get started. Uh, I have my demo document here. And I create a text. This is Hello Material UI. And then I change the name into text, like this. Then I group this one uh, three times. The outermost one will be named div, and it will contain classes. And the classes is named MUI container to have a uh, container. And then this one I name div and I add the classes of MUI row and this one should also be a div and I add the classes of uh, MUI call and then I can also add which breakpoint which is MD and then 4 and it's also a 12 column grid so 4 means one third Okay, so now I have a set of uh, divs which will generate div tags and it will add these classes. And these classes are specific to material UI CSS. Okay, so everything is saved. I open the, uh, the document in the code app, material grid demo. and nothing happens and the reason is that I say utilize these classes but still I have not specified where it should find those CSS classes so what I need to do is I need to add uh, an external asset uh, that actually points to the CSS that I need to use um, so what I do is I create one more text node which I rename to external asset.css and I check this page which is well the moviecss.com and I see here that this is their link or their reference to uh, CSS so I copy this one into my sketch document like so However, what I need to do is I need to add HTTP Now, this tells me that in order to find these classes I need to have an external asset An external asset is from the MUI CSS and it's the MUI min CSS So hopefully now what has happened is that uh, it is now placed within a grid and you can see that the, it has um, gotten some padding and it has been had some margins so it has been um, um, positioned slightly differently and that's because it now lives within a proper grid what you could also do is this uh, as an added bonus you could um, you can group once more and you can create a div element and you can add MUI, MUI panel like this and nothing changes of course in the sketch document but in the code app you will see that you now have a material UI panel 
which says hello material UI. So this is one of the many ways that you can use div. Uh, so for example, if I show you an export, uh, this is also a part of the React export. But I can show you this material UI demo. And if we open this one, this is the exported file, and you will see that it says hello material UI. We can inspect. And we can see that it has the MUI container, it has the MUI row, the call of MD4, and the MUI panel. And you can also verify that when I make the, the window smaller, it covers the entire width. And that's a behavior of uh, the material UI grid. So, enjoy. And I hope you create wonderful things. And please uh, share with us what you have been doing. Uh, we would love to see how you use Sketch to React, what you can create. The ship is be ready as soon as possible. I must go to base 12 on Mars.